My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Aaron. I thought we would just take a stroll through the city before we embark on any more of these so-called urgent adventures. All right, Rurik's house. I mean, I, I know nothing at all about this place. I've just been rushed from the moment I first set foot here. And what do we have here? General goods. Let's go inside. It's time to just take a breath. They'll have to wait. Especially as long as it took them to get to that... What was it? A monastery. Walking, making us behind. wait for hours. It's ridiculous. Hello, I'm Carnivus. Sevia, is it? If you need any supplies, please let me know. What have you got for sale? A wide range of goods. I'm sure you'll find some if you like. Don't know if I have anything that I can get rid of. Muramasa. This we can sell. I'll we'll hang on to this just in case I get over encumbered one day. All right, I think we're good. All these scrolls, I can get rid of this. Controlling the weather. I'll leave that for someone else. I do have some jewels I can sell. All right, we're good. I hesitate to ask this question, but can I help you with anything? Actually, yes. A man recently came to town and he spoke of treasure. The thing is, what he's looking for belongs to my family. Really? When this town was founded, the blacksmith took the first chunk of amber that was extracted and made it into a large ring for my family. Recently, however, we had to sell the ring. If it's just laying somewhere abandoned, I would like it back. You can ask the man staying at the Amber Mead Inn, Harold. But please, if you find it, bring it back to me. All right, very well. I am also curious though, and I must ask, why exactly did your family have a giant ring? of amber. It was the first of the amber ore that was extracted from the river when the town was founded. The blacksmith took it and in honor of the town's success crafted my family a great suit of armor with the ring attached to the back. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. Alright, tell me more about this armor. You can see the chest piece up on the wall there. 
It has been worn by my family in every battle we have ever fought in. It broke my father's heart when he had to sell the ring from it. It's not only a symbol of our family, but of our entire town. It would be great to have it back. <laughs> anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. You're quite persuasive. When was the ring sold? And why? It was 15 years ago. I was a young girl then. But I remember that day, Amber Creek was having a hard time getting by. A merchant came through with a great wealth to spend. My father saw an opportunity and decided to sell the ring. He didn't want to, but he had no choice. He gave everyone in town some of that money and kept us all out of truly dark times. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. You know, you would make a very powerful vampire. Your gift of persuasion magnified tenfold. You would be able to make men bend at your very feet. Even now, speaking with you, I almost feel compelled. Do you know where the ring might be? No. If I had any idea, I would have searched for it long ago. The merchant vessel carrying it sank in a terrible storm. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. I think you've shared enough. I appreciate the time. This conversation has been most enlightening. Good day. You need to leave now. I'm leaving. What's wrong with these people? Wait a minute. What's a handsome man like you doing in Amber Creek? She's talking to you, Amran. Make sure you let her know that you're married. <laughs> so... The sun was up when we entered the building, and now it's dark. <laughs> oh well, so much for my day of exploration. Let's go to the inn. That's probably where most of the town folk gather. This may be it here. All right, my mask is still on, but I don't know how much longer it will last. Well, I guess we'll just go around and speak to people and this is a see what's going on. It's pretty... Quiet here. Hero. We saved our ancestors when they first came to Falskar. Olgar. I hope your search for the book is going well. <laughs> Don't let those Dwemer machines get you while you're in there. Dwemer? What? I didn't know about that. <coughs> All right. Oh, it's Machias. If you need anything, just let me or Rengar know. This is the man that I rescued, Amran. Uh, what is that, Amran? Oh. All right, whatever. I thought he was standing beside me. What can you tell me about Falskar? Falskar is a complex land. We've had a lot of war and death. Things have been pretty dark the last few years, but I think we'll pull through. After all, Olaf led our people through the treachery when we first arrived here. I'm sure Agnar will do the same for us now. And what do you do around here? I help Rangar around the forge. I'm his apprentice. He hasn't had any children to pass the knowledge on to. I feel honored that he's accepted me to learn everything he knows. I work hard every day to practice the craft. He really does know a lot. Thank you. 
Come back if you need to sharpen your weapon or patch up your armor. Alright, I appreciate the conversation. Amran, have you learned anything? One day you'll be just like Clara. You really think so? Thanks, Dad. About Thorlo, so everyone just hangs out here after work. Hello. Hey, if you bring me cut lumber, I'll buy it from you. Alright. As much as I hate to ask this question, do you need help with anything? Yes, I recently found something that's been troubling me. I was out logging and I found a note from Yonel, a childhood friend of mine. It said that the bandits at Stone Ridge Watch were planning to attack Amber Creek. What? I've been looking for someone to investigate. If you're interested, please let me know. I'll pay you. Hmm, as it just so happens, I am starting to hunger. I can help you with that. Great. Please, go to Stone Ridge Watch along the top of the cliffs, far to the southeast. See if you can find the bandits that plan on attacking you. Oh, and if Yonolv is somehow alive, please bring him back here. I'd very much like to speak with him and see him again. Very well. Safe travels. Great sword. It ruins the meat. Oh, the Jarl is even here. How's that fire, Amran? <coughs> Comforting. For me, it's a curse. Just looking at it makes my skin crawl. Hello. There are some pretty amazing sights to see in Falskar. Thank you. I've got your back. Hi. What can I do for you? Do you know a lot of songs? I know plenty of songs. I wish I knew more, though. The bards kind of died off a while ago. I've been trying to recollect their work for years. Died? However, some of the pieces are harder to get to than others. Right now, I believe there's one in the ruins of Holmer called the Wandering Bard. I'd love to have it. If you have any spare time and could get it for me, I'll buy it off you. I'll pay good, too. <laughs> Very well. Fair travels. Isn't this something? I come into a tavern and now I'm loaded. Can I help you? With a request from these people that have lived here most of their lives, if not all, and never attempted, or maybe they did, to complete some of these tasks, but have just been sitting around waiting for some stranger to come into their lives and help them. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't Until like... Until next time, I friend. don't like speaking to people's backs. Sir. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to speak with you, and I want you to look into my eyes so that I can tell that what you're telling me is the truth. What can you tell me about Amber Creek? Amber Creek is named after the small stream it was built next to. This stream was, at the time, full of a rich mineral called Amber. However, over the years the amber was all mined out. The creek slowly expanded, and eventually became a large river, like it is today. That amber fueled the growth of the town. Since then, we have adapted to make gold through other means. For some, trade. For others, farming. Then there are those who make gold through craft. Like me with my smithing. So, you're the best blacksmith in Falskar? Aye, but I owe it all to my father. He taught me everything I know. His father taught him, and his father before, and so on. Our family has run this blacksmith since Amber Creek was founded. <coughs> Though, I fear I have no child to pass my knowledge on to, and I never will. 
not after what happened to my wife. But I do have Micaias. I don't think my father would mind that he isn't my son too much. It's about the knowledge, the craft, the skill. All that matters is that I teach someone. And one day, before I die, I'll craft my masterpiece. Just like my father did, even if it was taken from him. What happened to your wife? She was visiting Pineway when it was attacked. About 20 years back. She... She didn't make it. She... She was pregnant at the time. I've moved on as she would have wanted me to. I fear I'm too old to have kids now. Not that I could ever find another woman as beautiful and flawless as my NLE. I'm very sorry that you lost your wife. And that you've reached the age where having children would be a challenge. You know, you sort of look like a mix between a Nord and a Red Guard. Similar to myself. Interesting. But tell me more about someone stealing your father's masterpiece. Yes. Many years ago, my father crafted the Jarl, Agnar's father, a great warhammer. Years later, when my father passed away, Agnar returned it to my family. We buried it with my father, in his honor. Any blacksmith should rest with the finest of his craft. But, one day we found his grave dug up. What? The hammer was gone, stolen by someone. We had no evidence, but I know it was stolen by Garen. His family was always jealous of mine. Last I heard, he was hiding out at the old Aspenfall Lodge. To the Aspenfall? Hall. I was there. I haven't a clue if he's still there. But Someone is. Worth a try. If you can find my father's hammer, I will be greatly appreciative. Yes, I was attacked by bandits at Aspenfall and discovered an underground entrance. That must be where the hammer is. I do have more questions, though, about your father and Garant. All right, what is it you aim to know? What's going on between your family and Garant's? Oh, there's nothing to that, really. We were skilled blacksmiths. They were not so skilled. <laughs> they couldn't handle that fact, so they always held a grudge on us. Really? They would try to stop us from doing our work. Steal supplies, tame patches of ore, things like that. But this is by far the most rotten thing Garen's done. Anything else? I just find it amusing, I think, if I asked Garen. They would paint you as the blacksmith that didn't have skill. It all depends on who you're speaking with. How come I've never heard of Garant or his family before? Probably because they haven't lived in town for a while now. They were always an unpleasant bunch, so nobody around here likes to remember them. He's pulled a stunt like this, so he's probably resorted to banditry or some other form of stealing to get along. If he were to disappear while you were looking for the hammer, I wouldn't exactly mind if you catch my drift. <laughs> Anything else? Absolutely, I understand. You won't have to worry about him if I find him. That's all I wanted to know. Very well. Have a nice day. You too. Uh, I thought my illusion is probably worn off. At least I can still control their minds. <clears throat> there. 
control cloud. All that wonderful stuff that a vampire can do. All right, there was supposed to have been a man in here that I needed to ask about the Amber. And it looks like everyone has departed. I'm starting to suspect that time moves much more rapidly here in Fallscar than it does in Skyrim. Hello. What do you do for fun around here? Hmm. For some reason, you don't seem to be able to hear me. Let's try another question. Have you heard any rumors lately? No, she can't hear Safe me. Travels. Clara, let's try this again. What do you do for fun around here? Oh, a few things. Mainly talking with friends or joining them in song and dance. I also enjoy taking walks along the Amber River. It's so relaxing. <laughs> we even used to spend time at the hot springs up river, though lately nobody has gone there much. Something is off. It feels so dreadful. Other than that, I sometimes read, though I also think cooking is fun, and I often give lessons to Varina. She's such an adorable little chef. She's getting pretty good, too. Hmm, a guard mentioned something off about the hot springs when I first arrived here. So, I suppose I should take stock, now that two people are reporting the same thing. So what was it again about the hot springs? What feels off? Recently, the springs have felt off. It's hard to explain. You go there and there is simply a feeling of dread or misery. It's usually so bad that you want nothing more than to leave and get away. It only started recently, but I haven't a clue what could be causing it. If you looked into it, I'd be in your debt. We all would. The springs are something this town has enjoyed for a long time, and it would be wonderful to be able to visit them once again. I'm sure that there's some sort of magic behind this, whatever it is. So, have you heard any rumors lately? Kunari has been having trouble with something attacking his chickens. And what? Chickens? You look tough. I bet he'd love your help. Any other rumors? Oddman says his cattle keep running off. A rather odd problem, if you ask me. It is odd. Anything else? Rumor is that one of the ancient dragon walls just past the docks has started glowing. Really? I wonder what that could mean. That is interesting, and I think it may have something to do with the larger problem here in Fallscar. All right, that's enough rumors for one night. Thank you. All right, Aaron, have you had enough to drink? Let me just check these rooms. There's supposed to be a man here that I need to talk with. Is this him sleeping? <laughs> Would be so easy. Yes, this is him. What do you know about the Amber Ring? Thank you for waking up. That I need it, and it was in a ship that sunk. If only I knew where that ship was. All right. I have more questions for you. Tell me more about this ring. All right, I'll answer as best I can. You have no choice. What do you know about the Amber Ring? Just that it was sold to a merchant many years ago and then lost. Ask Wolf at the docks. He may tell you something useful. And please, if you find it, bring it to me. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. Oh, really? It looks like you have sleeping on your schedule. Ahead of the drinking. You cannot resist. Tell me, what do you need the Amber Ring for? I used to live in Helgen with my wife and kids before it was destroyed. Everything we own is gone, save the clothes on our backs. 
We tried living out of the woods, but I could barely catch enough for us to eat. I had heard rumors about this ring of amber. If it's really as big as they say, it will be worth a small fortune to the right people. I need that money to feed my family and rebuild what we once had. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. <laughs> and you'll get back to it when I say that it's time. So, you want to steal the ring for yourself? No. They sold the ring. It isn't theirs anymore. I'm not stealing it from anyone. I'm simply putting it to better use than sitting at the ocean floor somewhere rotting away. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. <laughs> so, because someone else stole it, you feel that it's all right for you to take it. I understand that. All right. I'll work on finding it. Just please try to find it quickly. I must get back to my family. Good night. All right, Aaron. May I... May I exit? Aaron. Aaron. Look at it. Thank you. All right, what time is it? All right, 2.30 in the morning. Apparently everyone's gone to bed. Oh. All right, I think all of my questions have been answered. And our task list is very long. All right, Amron, I think I'm gonna let you decide where we go next. <laughs>